What's up guys? This is Hatsmania coming to you with another deck profile. Um, this week it is desk bots. Uh, these guys are getting some uh, support in the future and I figured that I would actually build the deck because um, they're fun and they're hilarious to play. So uh, let's get into it. Uh, for the main boss monster of the deck I am playing one uh, Machina Fortress and then three of each desk bot starting with four, three, two, and one. Uh, two card card D two max C, and then into the spells, three double summon, uh, three machine duplication, uh, three MST, one book of moon, one limiter removal, one one for one, two forbidden lance, two machine assembly line, which actually I'm probably going to cut down to one and uh, replace that with uh, some another trap, probably torrential, uh, two mirror force, two trap stun, and three call the haunted. Uh, for the extra deck, I am playing one uh, Star Eater, one Leo, one Crimson Blader, one Scrap Dragon, one Stardust, uh, one Black Rose, one Goyo, one Barkeon, one uh, Nothung, one Naturia, uh, Beast, <laughs> one uh, Thought Ruler, one Balmung, and then for Xyz, I play one Gear Dragon, one Castell, and one Lavaval Chain. Uh, the rank fours are pretty open. Chain and uh, Gear Dragon are pretty much like set. Those are the ones that you should be playing. Castell is just there because it's well Castell. Um, and uh, yeah, so he's he's like he's just there because he's good. Uh, the one card that I'll probably replace Assembly Line with is uh, Gravity Bind because it doesn't really hurt you whatsoever. Uh, the only one it hurts is really Despot Four, but this is the one you play the least. Uh, or at least I play the least. So Gravity Bind is pretty cool, and it just kind of stops. It, it really hurts Necroz a lot. It forces them to use the extra deck, which uh, they don't like to do. So if you do want to play this at Locals, and you do have Necroz in your Locals, Gravity Bind really hurts them a lot. Um, this can also hurt uh, Shadal's. So it's a great disrupting card for them. Um, as far as other cards, uh, as other decks go, um, it's not really going to hurt um, Xyz-based decks such as... Uh, um, burning abyss so that's why that's there um that's why that's a uh, possibility the reason why uh two of the uh assembly line is bad is because it gives you a 200 boost which kind of hurts duplication however it can let you special summon which you will really only need one assembly line so that's why that's there uh if you don't know how the how these guys work um basically despot three is your um searcher to special summon he's basically the summoner monk of the deck except you don't have to pitch a spell uh, Despot 2 is the searcher. Whenever he special summon, you get to add Despot to your hand. Uh, number 1 is the beater of the deck. He just gets big really, he gets really big really fast. And Des Despot 4 is kind of like the ver like their deck's version of Lavaval Chain or like Foolish Burial. He sends a card to the grave and then he gets an attack boost because of that. And he works great with 101 because if he destroys a monster by battle, you get this, um, special summon 2. Uh, other death spots and then one's effect kicks in and he gets special summon because of that um so yeah so that's the deck profile there will be a replay for this deck up tomorrow and have a nice day